Greetings, guys and girls. This is Steve, and you're tuned into Mike and Ken, the channel with a funny accent. Today, I uh, will have a look at the SE4100 and the SE-T1. They are suspiciously similar in terms of technical details. The only thing that's different, really, are the capsules. This is a gold-plated and this is a titanium-plated capsule. So you can put your suggestions in the comments right now what you think the difference in tone will be. These microphones come either in a mono or a stereo or matched pair configuration. You will get a suitcase just like this one and there is one or two microphones in it. There are the shock mounts in it. You will get either one or two microphones and you will get the mounting bar for the two microphones if you have the matched pair version. version. Pricing is pretty interesting because you in America only pay half the price we pay in Germany. Which is a bloody ripoff. Okay, um, I will not go over that again. I will just plug them in and show you what they sound like. What you hear now is the SE4100 and the SE-T1. The difference between the two are like this or even less because the technical details are exactly the same besides one thing, the capsule. The capsule in the SE4100 is gold plated or gold sp sputtered sputtered and the t1 capsule is titanium sputtered everything else is the same 125 ohms impedance xlr connector 48 volts of phantom power requirement cardioid polar pattern a frequency range of 20 to 20 kilohertz sensitivity of 25 millivolts a maximum spl of 137 47 and 157 decibels because we have a gain reduction knob on each of them with minus 10 and minus 20 decibels uh, we have an equivalent noise level of 9 decibels and a signal to noise ratio of 85 decibels the low cut filter works with 80 and 160 hertz with 6 decibels per octave the attenuation pad is like i said 10 and 20 decibel. You can get these microphones either as a single microphone or as a matched pair microphone setup. The matched pair is perfect for stereo recordings. In the single set comes the microphone, a custom shock mount, this one here, and a thread adapter, also a metal case. And in the stereo configuration, the matched pair configuration, you get obviously two microphones, a custom shock mount for every mic and the stereo mounting bar, this metal piece here and also you get the metal carrying box in terms of pricing you guys in america are very lucky because uh, at least for the 4100 you pay half the price that we pay in germany the german price is around 400 bucks and the american single price for the se4100 is 232 dollars and for the t1 the price is $349. In terms of sound, this is the noise floor of the two microphones. The two microphones are connected to a Mo2828. Both of the microphones have the same level settings on the interface and I can see the SE4100 is a tiny bit quieter than the t1 in my recording software it is not this obvious and also you can't hear such a big difference but you can see it on my vu meter my perception of the sound is that the se4100 is a little bit more clear in the high end and the t1 is more like a tube microphone just a little bit more like a tube microphone it is warmer and the high end is not that pronounced and the 4100 is a little bit more pronounced in the high end distance test this is about an arm length away from the se4100 and this is also an arm away from the t1 this is about 30 centimeters away from the 4100 and this is about 30 centimeters away from the t1 this is about 15 centimeters away from the 4100 and this is about 15 centimeters away from the t1 this is about 10 centimeters away from the 4100 and this is about 10 centimeters away from the t1 i'm now gonna switch the low cut and minus 10 
10 decibels. This is about 5 cm away from the 4100 and this is about 5 cm away from the T1. And if I am almost touching the microphone, this is what you hear on the 4100. And also the T1 sounds a little bit different when I'm almost touching it. If I would type W, A, S and D like a crazy person into my keyboard, which lies about 40 centimeters away behind the microphones on the table, this is what you would hear. Mm -hmm. And the shock mount does a pretty good job too. This is me touching the arm. And banging on the table. I like the sound of both of these microphones, although I have to admit that my beloved and trusted SE2200 is also, uh, also, also a very good choice. This microphone uh, is even a bit cheaper than the 4100. It is a bit larger and heavier, but it offers pretty much the same things. I think the high end is even a bit more pronounced on the 2200. It is a little bit lovelier maybe on the 4100 and even more lovelier equals warmer on the T1. But the overall sound for voice is pretty good. Obviously these microphones, as you can get them in stereo configuration, are also very good for instruments. And just like the website from SE states, I would take the T1 for instruments that have a pretty harsh high end, like I guess drums, hi-hats and stuff like that. And the 4100 with the more detailed high-end is maybe good for instruments that have a little bit muffled tone to it, like a, pi uh, like a piano. But the difference isn't that big, so you obviously can take any of these microphones for any of the instruments. Uh, to be brutally honest. If you want to buy one of these microphones, I will leave links to them in the video description. And if you have any further questions, you can just put them in the comment section down below. I will answer them, I promise. Maybe it could take me one or two days, but I will answer. Promise. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay loud. I'm out. Watch this video. This is a really cool one. Especially for you. This is what YouTube thinks. Watch it now.